You know, it's been said that there are three kinds of people in the world. There are those who make things happen. There are those who watch things happen. There are those who have no idea what's happening. <laughs> I want you in that first group. I once read an article by an eminent psychologist who said, the number one thing I found helpful in helping people get their lives directed is to help them set personal goals. The Bible says, without a vision, the people perish. You gotta have a dream. You gotta have a goal in life. You gotta have a vision. You gotta have an ambition. You gotta have something that you're aiming for. So we're gonna start a new series today, Tom and I, that we're calling Growing Through Goal Setting. Next week, we're gonna look at setting financial goals. The week after that, we're gonna look at setting personal goals. And we're gonna look at these different areas of your life. But today, I want us to start with setting godly goals. What does it mean to set godly goals? Notice there on your outline, the Bible says, the godly are showered with blessings. They are godly are showered with blessings by God. Now, if I were to ask how many of you want to be showered by blessings, with blessings by God, every one of you would raise your hand. Well, there are promises in God's word, dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of promises that says that God loves to bless the godly. So what does it mean to set godly goals? the kind of goals that God blesses. We're gonna look at that today as an introduction to this series. But before we do, I want you to understand just the importance of goal setting in itself. 95% of all Americans have never, studies show, have never written down a goal for their life. If you've ever written down a goal for your life, you are in the top 5%. So that means most of the people here have never written down a goal for their life you need this series. Now there are four reasons why we need to set goals, because they make changes in us. First, godly goals give me hope. They give me hope. You know, when they studied the survivors of the Holocaust, one of the common denominators of those who handled the atrocities of Buchenwald and Dachau and Auschwitz was they had something to look forward to. They had a reason to live. They had a purpose. They had a goal that kept them going so they didn't give up the will to live. Now, life is full of losses. Some of you lost a loved one this year, or you lost your job, or you went bankrupt, or you had some other kind of loss. And life is full of illnesses, and life is full of tragedies and accidents, and stuff happens. And you can get stuck in that if you don't have a goal. Godly goals keep you moving forward when you feel like giving up. They give you the hope to endure. This is what Job says after he lost everything in his life. Notice on your outline, Job 6:11. I do not have the strength to endure. I do not have a goal that encourages me to carry on. If you don't have goals set in your life right now, I will tell you, without even knowing you that well, you're just drifting. You're just coasting. You're going through life aimlessly, without direction. If you don't have goals, you have nothing to encourage you to keep going. Why get out of bed in the morning? If you don't have a dream, if you don't have an ambition, if you don't have something to look forward to,